Today is Sunday, April 14th, 1912, the fifth day of Titanic's voyage. Being a Sunday, there were Christian services all throughout the ship, with Protestant services held in all three classes, as well as Catholic services in second and third class. A lifeboat drill was scheduled for today, but was cancelled due to the Sunday services, as well as the fact that the crew had already done a lifeboat drill a few days prior in Southampton, which was quite successful. Throughout the day, several telegraphs arrived from ships in the area, congratulating Titanic on her maiden voyage. Quite a few of them mentioned that they've encountered ice in the area. One of the ships, the Cunard liner Coronia, mentions how the weather is fair with favourable winds and no fog, but they have run across quite a lot of ice in the water. Again at noon, it had been reported that Titanic had travelled 546 miles since her last noontime report the day prior. The ship had sped up even more. In the evening, Reverend Carter held a hymn service in the second class dining saloon, while Captain Smith attended another dinner party in the first class a la carte restaurant on B-Deck, which was hosted by the Wideners of Philadelphia. An extended card game was also taking place in the first class smoking room, keeping it open past its usual opening hours. After dinner, Captain Smith returned to the bridge and checked in with 2nd Officer Charles Lightoller, who was on watch at the time, asking him to inform him of any changes throughout the night, after which he retires to his cabin. A few minutes later, 1st Officer William Murdoch arrives on the bridge to relieve Charles Lightoller and assumes command of the ship. The orders remain the same, to warn the captain if the weather conditions change. Meanwhile, Jack Phillips had been working through the backlog of wireless telegraphs from the previous day, when he was interrupted by the wireless operator of the nearby ship Californian. This frustrated Phillips and he told the Californian to shut up, and that he was busy working the telegraphs to Cape Race. Californian was trying to let the Titanic know that they had encountered severe ice in the area and had stopped for the night. After failing to inform the Titanic of their situation, the Californian shuts down their wireless telegraph for the night. At 11.40pm, Titanic's lookouts Frederick Fleet and Reginald Lee spot an iceberg directly in their path. Officer Murdoch is most likely to have spotted the iceberg first, as Fleet stated when on the phone with the bridge, 6th Officer Moody had told him that the ship was already turning. Titanic was unable to avoid the iceberg. It teared into her hull, breaching five watertight compartments and opening a small gash in a sixth. At this time, the crew are unaware that the ship is sinking and has a little over two hours to survive. It's been 15 minutes since Titanic hit the iceberg. Thomas Andrews is currently inspecting the lower decks of the ship, in which to his horror he finds the mailroom is already flooding. Tune in tomorrow for the final episode of Titanic Story.